Table Golf is a game by Aaron Gresham of Zagix LLC for two to six players that lasts approximately 30 minutes. In this game, each player has a golf card that they flick towards a hole card. The first person to do so gets a score of negative one. Each successive player after in each round gets a little bit higher of a score. Obviously, like in regular golf, the person with the lowest score wins. We're not going to go into detail on this game because it's so simple to play. Instead, we're going to go right into playing the game and you can watch to see how it's played. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm here to play Table Golf, a game that will hopefully replicate golf uh, as a former high school golfer uh, who won every varsity match I competed in, all one of them. I am totally ready, and I think that this will be a good game. Be the best man in That'll be me. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm an aspiring math teacher, and I am bringing sexy back to the golf course. Hi, I'm Gabe Shive. I'm an engineer, and I'm here to play golf. Wait, table golf? Can I still use this? No. Oh. Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Sean Howard, and I'm here to play table golf. What?
wrote little Johnny White and with this invitation there is a stipulation if you attend my party why you'll all be treated right but there's a wild and woolly woman you boys can't invite now you could bring Pearl she's a darn nice girl but don't bring Lulu you can bring Tess with her no and yes but don't bring Lulu Lulu always wants to do what we boys don't want her to when she struts her stuff around London Bridge is falling down you can bring Kate or Porterhouse Steak but don't bring Lulu Lulu gets blue and she goes cuckoo like the clock upon the shelf why she's the kind of smarty who breaks up every party hullabaloo don't bring Lulu I'll bring her myself now you can bring Nan with her old dead pan but don't bring Lulu you can bring Peg with her wooden leg but don't or crawlers or peas, but don't bring Lulu. Lulu's okay, but when she gets gay, the cops start to arrive. Why, when she starts in singing, police clubs start a swinging. Hullabaloo, don't bring Lulu, not while she's alive. Somebody like just guiding it with all the right, putter all the way. What's in. the rules for that? I didn't lift my hand off the table the whole time. So <laughs> you could replay it. <laughs> should, should I just redo it? it or? Yeah, let's just redo it. I don't know. It'll make much the judge of a difference. You're so does. close. It's just like. All right. <laughs> that, that looks more legitimate. <laughs> This is gonna be awful. 
Yep. Counting it. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Well, you went under the hole. <laughs> That's one heck of a divot. I have to say, changing it from the way we played it really does make it more of a dexterous game. Yeah, going for par. Going for plus one now. Going for bogey. Come on. Come on, lucky bogey. Bogey, bogey, bogey. Oh, no. Here on Gamer's Remorse, we went ahead and reviewed, or played the game Table Golf. What did I like about it? I thought it was fun. It was an interesting dexterity game that I'd never played this sort of variety before. Uh, the card flipping mechanic. I'm sure they're out there, I just never played it. The cons, I would say, are the uh, spelling. So there's a little bit of work there. I would like to see it slightly better artwork, but it didn't take away from the game. There also, I didn't tell you guys about this. There is an expansion to the game, or rather a change of rule set, called the 19th Hole, that is a drinking game. <laughs> it could be very fun too. So I'm going to go through my rubric real quick, and then I'll open it up and we can talk through it. Quality of components, 0 to 2. I'm going to give it a 1, because the artwork wasn't quite there. But overall, uh, I think the quality of the cards were there. A good balance of skill to luck. I think it was skill, right? So I'll give it a 1 there. Analysis paralysis, no. So I'll give that a 1, so that was good. Theme, theme was absolutely there. You had sand traps, you had the rough. The theme of one, thrill competitive, I felt a bit of thrill. <laughs> uh, there wasn't a whole lot of strategy, of course, but you know, there didn't need to be. So I'm gonna give that a one, because it, it played so fast, I couldn't really get the, the thrill of maybe Arkham or a longer game. Was it fun? Absolutely. So I'll give that a two. So, seven. I give it a seven. I liked it. It was fun. I mean, it was a dexterity game, so there wasn't a whole lot of Bumps there, but it's a good for you. What did you think? Well, like you said, it did capture the spirit pretty well. I mean, you really, for those of us that haven't played golf nearly as much, to me it felt like we were actually playing golf at times there. Going yeah. from one trap to the other, having a ball that slices <laughs> completely to the right. Uh, it felt very natural there. And uh, really don't really have anything negative to say about it, other than what you brought up with the uh, artwork. And I think with the nice, simple artwork. It was perfect because you were able to actually look at the entire uh, like a sand trap. It was just a big plot in the other. So it actually worked pretty well. Um, I'd say about a six or a seven would be good. Yeah, I'm basically just here for my looks, so my <laughs> uh, component to actually analyzing this game isn't that great. I would say uh, it had pros and cons and kind of some of the same things. Uh, one aspect is it is a card game, but it is throwing the cards instead of actually playing with them on the table. So it's not something you can pull out at a restaurant very easily and be liked by the other people at the restaurant. But it is very fun with the throwing aspect to it as well. So it kind of restricts where you can play, but at the same time it's got a very unique aspect to it for a card game. So I enjoyed that aspect, but I do think that throwing cards. So. <laughs> But this actually made me throw cards for fun, so I don't know what to do that. Overall, I enjoyed it. So what, what yeah. were you thinking score was? So we're going to 10, right? Yep. Up to 10. Uh, I'd probably give it a 6 or 7. Well, I was on the high school golf team whilst I was in high school, and so I was expecting to do amazing, because clearly real golf rules carry over to card game golf rules. Um, or not so much. Visual design, I would have liked to see more art on the cards. I understand, you know, rough, it's a solidish green, sand trap, solidish yellow, uh, water trap, solidish blue. But I mean, they could have just added, you know, a splash on the water trap, or maybe a, a golf ball buried in the sand trap. I did like how the golf balls kind of had that almost ballish dimple look to it. But I mean, visually, I'd, I'd give it a one out of two. Skill look, I'm gonna give that a one. Uh, if you're an expert card thrower, you're going to have a massive advantage, but who's an expert card thrower outside of Gambit? Um, and he'd be blowing stuff up, so you don't want to play with him anyway. So pacing, I'm, I'm going to get that a one as well. Uh, there's always something happening. Uh, you're either placing traps or you're throwing. When you're throwing, it doesn't take long, so there's not a lot of wait time. Theme and immersion, I'm going to give that a one as well. Uh, I felt more like this is table miniature golf as opposed to golf. You know, there's no way to alter club sets or anything, you know. Uh, maybe if there was a special rule for driving versus putting or something. Then. Fun factor, I'm gonna give that a one um, out of one out of two. It was really fun, but I don't think I could play it for a long period of time. 
uh, after four or five holes, I, I'm ready to do something else. Five. Six and a quarter. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week. Hi. 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 Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, look at the spikes. Yeah. Well, that's because I was. Yeah. I was using my sexy voice.